Next fourth problem. If x square plus y square plus a x plus b y minus 12 is equal to 0 has center 2 comma 3 that means center is at 2 comma 3 that is the meaning. Then find a comma b and the radius my dear students generally you think that this problem is related to the previous problem okay that's correct but in this problem some sort of typical concept is there so that's why my suggestion is that better to concentrate on this problem also. So, now comparing with x square plus y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0. So, now here 2 g stands for a, 2 f stands for b, am I correct? Whereas, c stands for minus 12. Now, g is equal to a by 2, f equal to b by 2. Now, let us proceed to the problem. Center is given as 2 comma 3. We know center is minus g comma minus f. So, 2 comma 3. Here g is a by 2, this will be minus a by 2 comma minus b by 2 is equated to 2 comma 3. If you compare the two order pairs, the first coordinate must be equal to the first coordinate, second coordinate must be equal to the second coordinate. So, we get minus a by 2 equal to 2. Next, minus b by 2 is equal to 3. So, minus a equal to 4, minus b equal to 6. Now, do you expect what are the values of a and b now? Minus a is equal to 4 means a equals to minus 4. Okay? Minus b is equal to 6 means b is equal to minus 6. Both the values a and b have been evaluated here. Now, what we have to find out now here? We have to find out center, its center we have to find out. So, that means here radius is equal to root of g square plus f square minus c. So, here g is equal to minus 2, f is equal to minus 3. Am I correct now? Just check it here. Now, this is equal to root of minus 2 square plus minus 3 square and minus of minus 12. So, this is 4 plus 9 plus 12. Now, this is equal to root 25. So, you get 5 units. 
Okay, students, just go through the problem. This problem is to this problem is similar to the first one, but some typical concept is there in this one. So, better to try to concentrate on this problem while solving this problem. Better practice on the paper, okay, then you will get more confidence to attempt in the examination. Find A if 2x square plus ay square minus 3x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 represents a circle represents a circle also find its radius also find its radius at first glance so it does not represent the general form of the equation of the circle. So, first of all we have to put it. To represent circle here x square coefficient must be equal to y square coefficient. What is the y square coefficient here? A. So, A must be equal to 2, A value is known. So, that means the equation of the circle becomes 2 x square plus 2 y square minus 3 x plus 2 y minus 1 is equal to 0. After that we have to put into the general form. General form means x square coefficient and y square coefficient must be equal to unity 1. So, that means first you write on given two x square plus a y square minus three x plus two y minus one is equal to zero. This is the given equation. Since it represents an equation of a circle of a circle coefficient of coefficient of x square should be equal to coefficient of y square. So, that implies here 2 is equal to a therefore, a is equal to 2. Now, how does the equation of the circle will change? Now, this equation of the circle can be put in the form of 2 x square plus 2 y square minus 3 x plus 2 y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, now we have to check whether this one is in the standard form. No, it is not in the standard form. So, we have to change into the standard form. How could you change it? Simple just by dividing throughout by 2. So, let us divide by 2. So, dividing both sides by 2. Now, what do we get? Here we get x square plus y square minus 3 by 2 x am I correct plus y minus 1 by 2 equal to 0. Now, let us come back to the our question. So, in the question what we are asked to find out the radius. So, 
again comparing with x square plus y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0. Here 2 g equals to minus 3 by 2. 2 f equals to 1. Am I correct? Just check it. Now, c equals to minus 1 by 2. Okay? Now, g becomes minus 3 by 4, 2 into 2, 4. Here, f becomes 1 by 2. Now, what we have to find out radius? So, radius is equal to root of g square plus f square minus c. So, root of g square means what is the value? So, minus 3 by 4 square 9 by 16, this is 1 by 4 and minus of minus plus 1 by 2. Here 16 is the LCM, 9 plus 4 plus this will be how much? 8. So, this is will be root over 21 by 16. So, root 21 by 4 units. Check down the problem. Okay.